The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds for 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone Tundra TD03 all-in-one liquid cooler. A great looking box with lots of pictures, features, and specifications about the product on it and there's one security seal. Let me cut that and let's see what's inside. Included is a user's manual. It's packaged very well. An accessory box that has some fan power cables and other materials for installing it on the motherboard. I'll go through that in detail later on. Two 120 millimeter fans. And the unit itself, which as you can see, is wrapped in plastic. Now let's have a closer look. Now the model number for these fans is AS1225H12. They are 120 millimeter fans. They have a sleeved lead and a four pin connection. They also include this Y cable. This end is connected into the four pin header on the motherboard and these two ends get connected into the two fans. Also they include, as I mentioned before, everything that you're going to need for installation as well as a tube of thermal compound. Now this is an all-in-one liquid cooler because everything is in one sealed unit. You have the radiator, the tubes, as well as the reservoir, pump, and water block all in one very convenient, easy to install product unlike a traditional water cooling setup. Now of course, you will get better performance from a traditional water cooling setup where every component is separate, but it's going to cost more and also leaks are more likely to happen in that particular kind of configuration. And not to mention that a traditional water cooling setup would take much, much longer to install. Now, Silverstone has done a fantastic job with this particular cooler. It is a 120 millimeter radiator that they have here, lots of fins, so this will provide some really good cooling and as well, remember they include two 120 millimeter fans. And the fans get attached to either side, so one fan on this side and another fan will get installed on the other side. You use the included screws to do that. There will be four screws for each fan. Now the tubing that they include is 310 millimeters in length. It is not super flexible, but it is a little bit flexible, but it's extremely durable, and the connections on both the radiator side as well as the water block side are very secure. Now let's have a closer look at the radiator. This is a patented design that utilizes brazing fins. It's similar to those used in top air coolers for increased heat transfer efficiency up to 40% over traditional radiators. Now the radiator is all aluminum. It measures in at one 59 by 124 by 45 millimeters. Now this unique full alloy water block is constructed with a copper base which is very very smooth so it will make excellent contact with the CPU. We'll have a look at that in just a second. It also has an aluminum body for better durability compared to the plastic built competitors. The block has a patented design that eliminates screws in its construction to provide excellent cooling performance and and integration of the mounting bracket, as you can see right here on both sides, for easy installation. Now they have this plastic piece here at the bottom to protect it, so you'll need to remove that first before you install it. As you can see, a nice, smooth, solid copper base, which will make excellent contact with the CPU. Now they include a three pin braided cable. This is for powering the pump. Now while some of these all-in-one liquid coolers have a fancy clip design for installing the fans, this one does not. It just uses regular screws, but you know what? There's nothing more secure than using regular screws. You can be sure that the fans will be attached and they aren't going anywhere. It just takes some time to install them. So one fan on this side and another fan on the other side. Now remember, 
remember, when installing the fans, have them so they're moving air in one direction, so they're pulling cool air through the radiator. Now, before we have a listen to these fans installed on the radiator, let me go through some of the specifications. The maximum speed is 2,500 RPMs. The maximum noise level is 33.5 decibels, and they push 92.5 CFM. So these fans are rather fast, and they will be pretty noisy at maximum speed but remember of course you can connect these fans into your four pin motherboard fan header to control the speed of them or you can connect them into a rheostat so now have a listen to the two fans at maximum speed This is a great looking, well constructed, maintenance free, all in one liquid CPU cooler. I love these things because they really take the guesswork out of it. Back in the day, I was into water cooling, the traditional water cooling setups. They were excellent, performed extremely well, but there was so much fiddling around with all the different components and tubes and so on and so forth that, well, today, this is really what you should go for. Now, if you still want the best performance, go with a traditional water cooling setup. If you want something that is more affordable, go with an air cooler. Something in the middle would be this particular product. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.